Hello again, everybody, and welcome to the Costa Mesa Minute. Today is Friday, October 12th. I'm Dane Bora, and we have a little bit of a different show for you today, and I'd like to introduce you to lifetime Costa Mesa resident, Laura Wells. Laura, thanks for joining me. Thank you very much. I really appreciate it. So as most of you should know, October is National Breast Cancer Awareness Month, but what we hope to tell you about today in particular is a special day that's going on tomorrow. And Laura, because I always mess it up, why don't you tell us what tomorrow is? Tomorrow is National Metastatic Breast Cancer Awareness Day. It is the one day out of October where focuses on metastatic breast cancer. That is where uh, breast cancer has left your breast and gone into different organs of your body, either your lungs, your liver, sometimes your bones, and then eventually into your brain also. Now, one of the things that I, I learned when I was um, researching before we uh, got together today was that, and I found interesting, is that nobody dies from breast cancer that stays in the breast. Exactly. Pretty much 100% of all breast cancer deaths are from metastatic breast cancer. 10% um, percent of women are diagnosed with already metastatic disease and up to 30% more will become metastatic after they have gone through their original treatment. And those women may have one year and they may have 15 years, but they all will die from their disease. And with the national attention on Breast Cancer Awareness Month, and we see uh, when we watch the NFL on Sundays, the, a lot of the pink, um, but a lot of the money raised goes to general breast cancer research and treatments and not enough perhaps into metastatic. Yes, um, approximately two to three percent of funding goes into metastatic issues. We would like to see that equalized a little more because that is where death occurs. Um, we would like the women who are metastatic to not be invisible during October. We're the scary part of breast cancer. We're the part that cure does not affect. We're past that. And so we're just hoping that people become more aware that women are still dying from breast cancer. Um, and it's really very sad. The statistics are people. In your particular case, um, one of the touching parts of your story is that you noticed a, a, a lump, mm -hmm. um, but because of a lack of insurance, um, you didn't get it treated right away. And perhaps if you had known that treatments were available to non-insured and there was programs in place, but at the time you didn't know it and that delayed some treatment. Correct, I found my breast lumps in January of 2007. It took me five months to find the National Breast and Cervical Cancer Treatment Program. Um, to start getting treatment for it. Probably in that amount of time, my um, lumps may not have grown so big. I may not have pre um, progressed into my lymph nodes so much, and maybe today I would be one of the cured ones. So obviously the goal today is to raise more awareness about metastatic breast cancer. And if people would like more information, where do you suggest they go? There are a few uh, groups. They're a little far away, but you can reach them online. There is um, mbcnetwork.org. That's Metastatic Breast Cancer Network. There is also a group called metaviver.org. And um, although they are far away, they are online and they can be accessed, obviously, off anybody's internet. There is a support group online called inspire.com and um, actually very many cancer patients go there for different cancers, but there is a group that's just for advanced metastatic cancer patients for their breast. The pink ribbon is a symbol of breast cancer awareness. In your case, you use a pink, gray, and black ribbon. Yes, pink obviously is for breast cancer. Gray is because I live with uncertainty um, for an uncertain amount of years and black because eventually I will die from my disease. I'm trying to encompass the whole scope of breast cancer, not just the early part that you think is going to be done and then when it's not, there's really very few places to find help and hopefully next year I can start a foundation in this area for um, some of our local residents to find help if they need so. Ultimately, if you had one thing to say on this topic, 
what's the most important thing? The most important thing is that women are still dying every day from breast cancer. And although awareness and early detection and cure are very great and very necessary, they're just not enough and we need to move into really finding a cure and finding help for those women who fight their entire lives until they for sure die. Laura, I can't thank you enough for taking the time to help spread the message and, and the word about um, National Metastatic Breast Cancer yeah. Awareness Day, which is tomorrow, Saturday, October 13th. And we wish you, you know, all the best in, in your fight. Thank you. And can I just say that men are becoming more affected these days too, and many women are finding their cancers before they're even at the age of mammogram. So sometimes early detection just doesn't work for them. Well, that's Costa Mesa today. In a minute or two, remember, if it happens in Costa Mesa, it's news to us.